Hey guys, welcome back to Tag Along with the Tinsleys and we are here with another Christmas vlog and today we are going to be going through the girls' toys and we are going to be donating them to a local place in our county that will make for sure that these toys are distributed to families that need them and my girls have so many toys that they just do not play with them and so my purpose with doing this is to be more minimalistic but also to be more purposeful and intentional with their toys and allow them to have toys that they actually play with and that they're actually using. So today, if it is something that is broken, of course we're gonna trash it. If it is something that they do not play with, we're going to donate it. And we are going to try something different with their Christmas this year. We are giving them four areas in their room. We will have a book slash crafts and arts area. We are going to have a baby doll area where they have their baby dolls and their baby doll accessories. We are going to have a little toy area. My oldest daughter Mackenzie loves like the My Little Pet Shops and the Shopkins. And so we're gonna have that. And then we are also going to have, they have a kitchen. So they are going to have their kitchen, their kitchen food and their kitchen accessories. And I know you're looking at this mess, but this is real life guys and we have tried organizing like as far as you know we put their babies we put their Barbies we put their you know dress up toys we put their kitchen food you know there's just so many categories though that they just can't keep up with it so they're really excited about being able to donate their toys and they're really excited about having different areas in their room. And yes, all four of our girls share a room. It's just the way our house is set up. It's either some of us are downstairs and some of us are upstairs or we're all upstairs. And so right now in this season of our life, we choose to have all of them upstairs with us. So um, they do not complain. And when the older two get a little older, we'll probably maybe move them downstairs I'm not sure. We'll see when that time comes. But for now, we're going to go through these toys and we are going to get rid of some things and throw some things away and get ready for Christmas. Okay, so I have gone through two totes, but I still have this big monster one to go through. So I'm feeling pretty good about this because I think that this is going to cause them to play with their toys more and be able to keep their room cleaner, easier. Okay, so I am officially finished going through those three totes. We have two bags of trash. We have everything that we're going to donate in this corner. This is the only thing that I kept out of the stuff that I went through and that's like maybe half of one of the totes. And after we have Christmas, all of this stuff will go to their designated areas around their room and I think it's going to be good. Welcome back. I woke up this morning with a ton of energy, surprisingly. So I woke up and I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And Jared's like, no. let's not go. <laughs> Cause he works Monday through Friday and he's been working a lot of overtime. I think what you worked like. I only worked eight this week. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause you didn't work over Friday. Eight or nine, so. But still, he has to get up at like two o'clock or 2.30. I have to get up at 2, two and o'clock. And then he doesn't get home until 5, 5.30. So that makes for a long day. So he's like, let's just sit down and be lazy. <laughs> but today I want to get our Christmas presents wrapped. I want to show you guys what we got the girls for Christmas. And I'm, I've got some cleaning I need to get done. Why aren't you talking? Because you're talking. <laughs> they don't, they don't want to hear me talk all the time. You're already talking. Anyways, um... So yeah, we're gonna get some Christmas presents wrapped, we're gonna get some cleaning done, and we're going no, to- No, 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 uh-uh. She's gonna wrap the presents, I'm gonna go eat breakfast with the girls so that the girls aren't here, yes. and I'm gonna be so happy. It is a great trade for me. <laughs> Bye, guys! Bye! 
I'll see you when you get back. Have fun with Daddy. Okay. Okay. Bye. Welcome back to the Cindy Family Channel. Today we're eating at Mexican. And as you guys can see, there's all kinds of yummy food. And today we just wanted to let you know that we was eating at Mexican. Mallory, what are you eating? Um, I'm eating the tomato fries. Um, you can get it with beans uh, too, but I just really like their fries. Abby, what are you eating? I'm eating fries with cheese on top of it. Okay. And chicken. And chicken. And I'm eating this. Chimichangas with chicken. It's about to get serious here at the Tinsley home. I've got my music playing, I've got my cleaning caddy out, and my candles burning. Let's get to cleaning, guys. So I was just mopping <laughs> and my mop broke. So it's a good thing that Jared is in town right now. So guess it's time for a new mop, guys. <laughs> so we are fixing to head out. We are going to go to downtown Metamora, which is a famous little town that's near where we live. Um, it's kind of touristy. Lots of people come for different things. They have um, things in the fall. They have the big thing um, during the winter time and it's called the Christmas walk. And that is what we're going to do. We are going to go see the Christmas lights. Um, but I got the house cleaned up. I got some very much needed deep cleaning done. Sweeping, mopping, dusting, all those types of things. So I'm very pleased to have that done and very excited to be going out this evening to spend some time with our family and see some Christmas lights. Crazy raining, but a little bit of rain. It's said, sprinkling. Why don't we just take the ranger down there and ride around with the ranger? So technically, we're allowed to ride the ranger down there. We're just not allowed to uh, take it on the state highways that is right beside it. So we'll take the ranger down to their little park. We'll pull it down there with the truck down to their park. When we get there, we will uh, unload, go enjoy the Christmas walk around. It's cute as ever. Okay, so I don't need to wear a hat? No. Okay. <laughs> Mabby, are you buckled? Not all of us. Get buckled, baby. All right, are y'all ready? Yeah! Are yeah! Mabby, yeah! Yeah! are you ready? Yeah. You didn't ask me. Are you ready, Dad? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the tree's moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> he creates these from a uh, chainsaw. Someone handmade this. 
It's very pretty. This place right here is called Granny's Cookie Jar, and they have handed ice cream, and they have waffle cones, and they have their homemade waffle cones. They make them, and they put chocolate chips in the bottom of the ice cream cones, but when you walk in there, actually, I should walk in there and show them, shouldn't I? Yeah. Now when I get see them, it might be the shadow on it. She could be right, but I think she could be right. Okay, let's see what we got. And there's even more cookie jars. We love coming here in the summertime to get ice cream. Oh, look, all the Christmas ones. So, what is the most expensive one in here? The girl in the red dress, the Russian girl. Uh huh. $1,100 and they only made 75 of her. So this one is the old man in the orange hat. Okay. He was made in the late 1920s or early 1930s. This is the canal and this was actually a canal that was used. Um, there's a flour mill if you go farther on down. But this is the Ben Franklin, and they used this, and they um, pulled it with the horses, and they actually used to give rides on it. I know that it was under construction last year, so I don't know if they've started those rides back up or not, but this is a really cool thing to do if you're here um, when it's open. So every time we come here for the Christmas walk, I get their hot chocolate here. It's homemade and it's really good. It is the end of the day. And, and I'm cold. Yes, it was cold. <laughs> but I did not get any of my wrapping done. No, but you did get a lot done today. I did get a lot done today. And we did get to go see the Christmas lights at the Christmas walk in Metamora. And we took the ranger, yep. as you saw. And it kept the rain off of us. And so it was perfect. We had a blast. It's 
I, I really wish it wasn't raining because we would have got out and went into more of the shops and um, kind of showed you guys the things that they have inside the shops. How would you explain it? Old country town. It's, it's just an old country town. A lot of like handmade stuff, um, which is really neat. And um, so definitely if you're in this area, one thing that I will say about our experience this time is, is they did not have Santa. Usually they have Santa in his little workshop. And I meant to show you guys that. It was right beside Granny's cookie jar. Um, he was not there. And I would assume that was because of COVID. And we did find out that the train is, was not running. And they usually have buggy rides. There mm -hmm. were no buggies there. So like horse and carriage rides, we didn't see any of those. And the crowd was actually really, really low. Of course, this is the last weekend. They do it all the way up until Christmas. But we had a good time seeing the lights. And we got some hot chocolate and just spent time with each other. So that was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I am going to show you a few of the things that we got the girls for Christmas. We've got them in bed. They're not actually asleep yet. You can probably hear them upstairs talking. <laughs> But I'm gonna show you a few things that we got them just in case if you need any ideas because Christmas is in just a few days and I'm gonna try to get this out maybe by Monday. We'll see. So, for the older two girls, I got the Lego sets because they really enjoyed these last year. I got one for Mackenzie and she didn't really show any interest in it. Um, so I went ahead and got, Mallory was the one who showed interest in it, so. I went ahead and got definitely Mallory one, but I also got Mackenzie another one because she kind of picked up on it, you know, after Christmas and started really enjoying it and had told me that she wanted another one. So we got some of these for the older girls. Um, this is for Mabby. She loves babies. She's like super into baby stuff. She um, loves the strollers, the... She has already has some of that stuff, so she's gonna really like these, I think. Don't you think, babe? Mm-hmm. Um, and then with the My Sweet Love, they have like all the accessories that you can get, and so she got several accessories to go along with hers. Um, I didn't bring any of those out here, but like diapers and stuff like that, so we got her accessories to go with her baby. And Maddie saw this on Amazon and she asked for it and when I went to Walmart they actually had this head and got this for her and I got the other girls some kitchen play stuff as well because as you guys know I told you guys the girls were gonna have four areas in their room when I went shopping this year I had those four specific categories in my mind and I picked things that would kind of go along with that because this is what they like and this is what they play with so um, we got another set I got the baking set for Melina this is actually from that one um, it has the hat and the apron and some baking accessories to go along with it. And also, let me say on this, this is um, the Melissa and Doug brand. And I love this brand for um, kitchen dishes and food items for the girls because they're made very, very well and they last. They don't tear up easily and... Um, the girls just love them. So anything Melissa and Doug, I highly recommend because it's, I, it's always made really well. We have not had any trouble out of any of the Melissa and Doug items that we've purchased for the girls. So highly recommend that. The older three girls got these, my life dolls. They wanted American Girl dolls and I cannot um, come to terms with spending that much money. Um, because I wasn't for sure if they would be able to take care of them. Um, they're just not really good at taking care of their stuff yet. <laughs> so they may be a little disappointed, but I personally think that these dolls are very, a very good replica of the American Girl dolls. Of course, we've never had the American Girl dolls, but they're like the same size and you can get the accessories and all that that comes with them. And that's what the girls really, really like is the accessories, especially Mackenzie. She loves all the little stuff that actually works. And, um, oh, I didn't bring one of those in there. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is some of the accessories that you can get with them. And when I say they actually work, like this one is the 
um, camping accessory playset, and they have different ones, and I got the girls different ones. It says you can crack the egg. So meaning that the little eggs in here, they actually crack. And Mackenzie just loves the small accessories like that. So we got them some of these to go with their dolls, and my mom's getting them some of the other accessories. They carry a lot of, of the accessories with these. So then they have an art area. They're gonna have an art area in their room. So they all got something like artsy. This is actually Mackenzie's. This came from TJ Maxx, and she's gonna love this. Um, you can make play charms. Of course, we don't wear jewelry, but um, this book that comes along with it. Um, it actually shows you uh, how to create the little charms like step by step and she loves art stuff so she's gonna love this all the girls got something that was artsy that was age appropriate so this is Mackenzie's and then of course we got the stocking stuff and of course they're getting candy they're getting kinetic sand they love kinetic sand I don't mind them playing with kinetic sand because it's not as messy as play-doh um, the younger girls got these they're like big chapsticks <laughs> they love chapstick the older girls got these um, just the regular chapstick um, they all got one of these now I know that Mm, this is not age appropriate for Madeline. This is a um, nail set. Mackenzie really wanted one of these, and um, I think I hear a kid start to come down the stairs. <laughs> and I knew that if I just got her one and didn't get the other girls one, they would be upset. So when I was picking out their stocking stuffer items, I tried to pick out things that could go inside their purse. And that's one other item that I may try to get them before Christmas is I may try to get them another purse. Um, because I got them hand sanitizer, they got their own little brush, and then some of the little body, um, the body stuff, this is lotion, body spray, and then of course this is body wash, they won't keep that in their purse, but I tried to get things for their purses and then candy of course. And so with that being said, we tried to be really purposeful and really intentional with what we bought them because they usually just get so much stuff, they don't play with it, and I'm hoping that this year by giving them less and putting out their toys like I did and donating some of them and having the areas in their room, I'm hoping that that will encourage them to A, take care of their stuff better and B, keep their room cleaner. After Christmas is over, once we get everything in their room set up, um, we'll show you that process hopefully and then I will let you guys know how our um, plan worked out. <laughs> and now I just got to get everything wrapped. This will probably be the last video before Christmas, so we hope that you all have a Merry Christmas from our family to your Merry Christmas, everybody. Good night.